and today we're going to show you how to make big changes to reports on the fly. How? By showing you how to use the transpose function in Excel 2016. Here's your situation. An important departmental meeting between purchasing and production will begin in a few minutes. Everything is ready. Your report is ready and you are ready to present it. But suddenly your boss wants you to change the report. He wants the same report but in a different format. Meaning, you have to rotate your table, transposing the data from rows to columns. So how can you make the changes in just two minutes? We will show you two ways in Excel 2016 to quickly make these format changes using this production components table. As you can see, the components we need to buy are described in the left column, and the number of components needed for the next seven months is shown in the rows. The first we'll show you is called Copy and Paste Special. The steps are, first, select all the information in the table. Then click the down arrow of the copy function and then click copy. Next, click on a cell where you will paste your information. Now click on paste and then scroll down the option box and click paste special. Now click the box for paste transpose and then click OK. And there you have it, a new table completely transposed. Now the seven months are described in the left column and the components are shown across the rows with the number of components needed. The copy and paste special method has a disadvantage if you have to change numbers in your original table. Let's change the number in cell C5 by changing the formula to 80. Please note that the new number does not appear in your copy table. This is because the two tables are not linked. They are independent tables. So if you're going to make changes, you are better off using the second way, which is called transpose function. The steps are first, count the number of columns and rows in the original table. Now select the area where you will display your copy table, making sure to have the same number of columns and rows. In the first cell of this selected area, write the formula equal sign transpose. Then type an open parentheses. Now select the whole table and then type a closed parentheses. Now press Control plus Shift plus Enter and see your new completely transposed table 2 appears. Now you are ready to present your information at the meeting. And if you make any changes in the original table, these changes will also be made in the copy table. The tables are linked and are no longer operating independently of each other. Now you know two ways to use the transpose function in Excel 2016, and both ways are quick and easy. If you liked this video, then don't forget to leave a comment, share, and hit the like button. And do subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. Till then, goodbye and have a great day. Thanks for watching.